If you want to become faster and more controlled in your Olympic lifts of snatch and clean, then you should be pulling every week heavy and with the correct positions. Today we're going to talk about how a clean grip pull looks, what the progression is of going through the lift, and some common mistakes you might see within the pull. Clean grip pulls are by far the best way to make yourself more controlled in a lift and to build speed. Why? Because you're working your body through the positions of a clean without actually dropping under the weight. So the athlete can control these movements so much easier and better throughout the course of the pull, get really good at pulling, and then therefore it'll transition over to the lift. So let's talk about the correct technique of the pull. First, the start position. On a start position, the shoulders athletes are going to be slightly in advance of the bar. The eye level is straight ahead. Shoulder blades are pinched back. Slight arch in the lower back. Hips slightly higher than the knees. What's going to happen coming off the ground is we need to see that the athlete's hips and shoulders rise at the same rate till the bar gets to knee level. So as you can see here, hips and shoulders start here. They rise at the same rate to where they finished here at that same angle, right? To where the athlete gets to the second phase of the pull, which is going to be right below the knee. Here, the athlete's shoulders should be clear advance over the bar in order for the, to feel the pressure on the hamstrings. From this position, the athlete's going to cross over the knee, and as the hips go forward, the bar travels into the body to get to this what we call power position. Power position is where the knees are slightly bent, torso is vertical, and heels still permanently on the ground. This is the final phase of the pull when the athlete will go into the jump shrug, where the athlete comes up on their toes, knees extended, ankles extended, hips extended, and pulling with their traps underneath the bar. So we'll watch one in regular time. Right here, coming off the ground, and pull to finish, right? What are some common errors that we see on this lift? Well, for one, we call this a stripper pull. So we talked about getting in a good start position. So he gets in a decent start position here, but as he's pulling off the ground, his butt shoots up to this position, and then he has to fight his way back into a good position here to, in order to finish the pull, right? We talked about earlier, the first phase of the pull, the hips and shoulders should rise at the same rate, not the hips rising faster than the shoulders. Another common error though is, besides the stripper pull, the athlete will pull, but they're sitting behind the bar too much. They don't have their shoulders over the bar and they begin to pull with their shoulders. So as you see, he gets below the knee and his back angle has started to change to this position and never really getting the pressure on the hamstrings that I want to see. Lastly, an athlete might come up on their toes too early before they're going into the pull and cause them not to quote unquote finish the pull and will keep the hips muted. So going back, the clean grip pull is and snatch grip pulls are the most important exercises if you want to get more controlled and faster through the lift. Why? Because you can control these positions. You can get strong at these positions. And if you build up that strength throughout the positions, when it comes time to lift, your body, your body will automatically know what to do through the muscle memory you created from, the, from doing your pulls.